Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I want to touch base on something that just recently came in and was supposed to come in on Saturday. Uh, what you're hearing is the actual uh, heater kicking in because obviously it's cold, okay? So don't mind the noise, okay? But anyway, long story short, I have uh, packages coming in from Retro Agogo. They're mini masks. There's a total of three of them. Well, they were supposed to come in on Saturday, but they end up coming in today, so guess what? We are going to do a video showing you what's in these boxes. Also, the boxes are very, very cool looking, okay? It's got a very retro feel about it. If you're into vacuum form masks or anything vintage-wise, these are something definitely you want to think about, okay? But anyway, let me show you what the box looks like. Let's start off with the cover, and then I'm going to show you the other boxes as well, okay? So let me get around the wire here. All right. Now I'm going to pull back so you can see. It does come with a plastic window, okay? You'll be able to see the mask. Now these are mini masks, mini monsters and stuff. But they do also make um, gigantic ones that are literally almost 42 inches from top to bottom. And they're huge. They're huge wall-mounted uh, masks. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually wear them or not. But I'm not going to pull the backings off of them. But most likely they have a string on them that allows you to actually wear them. But these are actually mini masks and I collected them uh, simply just to put them on the wall. Okay, not so much to wear them. But anyway, let's get a close-up look of this box art. It's really impressive looking. Very old school, very retro looking. Alright. Retro a go go cool company believe it or not these things are only 20 bucks a piece and they come with two different items in the box and um, that's what I like about this uh, because they're very reasonably priced but they're very cool it's a very cool concept all right there's the side of the box okay these are mini obviously like I said there's bigger ones and I believe they got the standard size ones as well but I chose to get the minis because I want to line them up on the wall I got one wall that I can line up a bunch of these if they have a decent amount of uh, horror figures to collect, okay? But anyway, that's what it looks like on all these sides here. Alright, all right. enough about that. Let's get into the bottom part of the box for this particular box. This one is in fact uh, Little Frankie. And I'll show you the name of that. I believe it's right there. There it is. Okay, it's called Little Frankie. It's the Frankenstein mask, okay? Alright. Now, that says Normal Lives, or Normal Lives in Snoresville. Okay, sorry about that. Stay creepy. Stay creepy, my friends. Okay. Bury me in Ghoulsville. So put some effort into the boxes. That's very cool. And you want to collect the boxes, keep the boxes, because... As you can see, it's got some very cool uh, artwork on it. Very retro. Like I said, if you're into retro, you definitely want to check these out. Okay, guys? All right. Now, it pretty much shows you what's in the boxes. This gives you like a full-size figure right here. Or this one here in this case here. I'm going to show you what it looks like here in a second. But anyway, that's what the uh, top and bottom of the boxes look like. All right. It also gives you a card that pretty much explains uh, the creator of Ghoulsville I believe or possibly Retro Agogo that's what I'm thinking it is the actual owner and stuff and it pretty much explains you know how he came to be and everything it's a little bit of history on, on the guy and I believe his wife also does jewelry and stuff you might want to check out the uh, website I'll leave a link down below this video if you want to go ahead and head over there and check it out because I got some really cool stuff if you're into retro stuff, okay? Vintage vacuum form masks, okay? They do these things. As you can see, that's another. That's the back end of the card, okay? Now, let's get into the actual masks themselves, okay? Now this, like I said, these are minis, okay? And they have the bigger ones that are literally maybe 42 inches. They're twice the size of these things. Maybe a little bit bigger, okay? But anyway, that's what this thing looks like. As you can see... It's got a very vintage look about it, okay? Back in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, and they still make them to, to, uh, today, but not classic like this. 
Uh, but back in the day, that's what we used to wear, especially us older people. We would actually wear the ones with the strings and stuff and just put it over our faces. Halloween was very simple, but yet it was extremely fun back in the day. Today, not so much. Everything's just changed. It's ridiculous how it's changed. Especially the pandemic has kind of changed everything. But anyway, let me give you a close-up shot of the detail of this now. All right. Now, as you can see, because of the paint scheme and everything, it's very retro. It's very old school. All right. Let me give you a look. I'm going to show you the back of this in a second. Now, it's most likely it has a string in the back. I'm not positively sure. I can't feel it, so I don't know. I could pull it apart, but I don't want to do that. Well, hang on for a second. Let me see. Maybe I can just pull it apart from here. Yep. I can't exactly see it unless I literally pull it apart. But as you can see, it's got a little hole. You simply put a tack in your wall and you just hang it up on the wall. Okay. Design for Retro A Go Go by Doug P. Gosh. Assembled and finished in the USA. So this is a United States product. It's not Chinese or anything like that. All right, series 1. So they do have a bunch of series of uh, different masks you can check out. It ain't necessarily horror and stuff like that or Halloween. They got all kinds of stuff. So yeah, you might want to check out that site. I'll leave a link down, uh, down below. But anyway, I'm pretty sure there might be strings in this. Don't quote me on it. But anyway, it's a very cool looking mask. All right. Now, it also comes with this guy here. She's a little big, so I'm about to pull this one back a little bit. Whoa, whoa, where are you going there, buddy? All right. All right, you get the idea of what it looks like. I got to pull all the way back. They come with these, okay, as you can see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And right here. Ding, 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 ding. No, it's kidding. Hi. Right, let me show you what it looks like up close here. It's very cool artwork, too. These guys did a fantastic job. Right, let me get him to do the split. And that's what the mask looks like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> anyway, it comes with a split. All right, you can hang these. These are wall type uh, hangers. I'm going to hang them right next to my mask and stuff like that. And I still got a few more I want to get, but further down the line. Just to complete the collection. Okay. But that's what she looks like. All right, now the hinge, as you can see. All right. You can bend these in any way you want. They're very cartoonish looking. All right. But these are cool looking on your wall, especially around Halloween. And if you want to collect something like this for Halloween, this is the perfect gift, okay? Like I said, they're 20 bucks. You can get them in different sizes. You can get the regular sizes and the super large sizes. The back, obviously, it says Ghoulsville Retro Agogo. All right, and it's all white otherwise. All right, well, that's what it looks like. That's little Frankie, and that's what you get in the boxes here. Now, I'm just going to show you the other ones, and we're going to pull them out of their boxes and show you what the figures look like. So, let's start off with this next one here, which is kind of like the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, but they call it, um, what's the name here? There it is. The Mad Bride. Okay. But that's what she looks like. Now, as you can see the window. Okay. You see the mask and everything. She's got this, uh, very similar artwork. Okay. And as you can see, they are a decent size. They're not huge. Okay. But they're perfect for your wall. Especially if you're into collecting these kind of things. All right. These are perfect, believe it or not. Like I said, I'm going to get a few more just to finish it up on the wall. Alright, let me pull this out of its box here. There we go. Before we 
pull things out of the box. Let's read what it says here. Ah, uh, it's all pretty much the same, as you can see. Alright. Stay creepy. Stay creepy, my friends. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Keep it weird, people. Alright. Anyway, that's what she looks like. Okay. Now, pulling this out. Alright. Like I said, the back of it. Okay, pull that back so you can see what it looks like. That'd be cool. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the Bride of Frankenstein, which is pretty much what it is. But they technically can't call it that because for copyright reasons. Alright, and she got a little dimple. I forgot what they call those, like a little mole. Alright, scarred. But like I said, it must have a string in here somewhere. I don't feel one. But I'm sure it might have something in here. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to force it. But anyway, let's get into... Alright, now you can see right there. And that's what she looks like. It comes in a little plastic and, uh, bag. We're going to pull out of it, and we're going to assemble it. No, disassemble Johnny Five. All right. That's what she looks like. Okay. Now, in order to assemble it, you got to kind of stretch it this way. Pull her legs this way. Pull her legs this way. And her arms this way and this way. And you can do all kinds of stuff here now. I'm gonna pull that back so you can see what she looks like here. That's what she looks like. I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. Very cool looking artwork on this thing. Now these are very cool art decorations for your wall. Cannot go wrong. Alright, this one's a little stiffer than Frankie's, so you can move it and just leave it where it's at, okay? And the face, alright, the legs, kind of mummified, it's pretty much like the Bride of Frankenstein, except she's wearing some custom designer shoes all right and the back obviously all right now that's what that looks like okay so with that in mind we're going to keep these assembled because I'm going to hang them on the wall also within the box like I said you get this card okay so with that I will keep the boxes all right Put this box together. Okay. Put this box together. Sorry about the camera. Okay. Okay. And I'll show you the last one, which is kind of like the creature from the Black Lagoon. And that's what she looks like. Now, the actual artwork on this one's completely different than these. Hang on for a second here. Right. Step right there. Now, as you can see, the artwork is pretty much the same on these. Okay, because they're probably similar monsters, that's why. Right. Uh, they're within the same family. This one is a different breed of monster altogether, as you can see the artwork here. Now, the, what you see on here is basically what they also have. As you can see the creature, and this is scary, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. And spooky is probably like the werewolf. They have this cool looking pumpkin one. I didn't come across it on the, um, the website unless I discontinued it. 
but I would love to get a hold of that. All right. Got some cool artwork on this one too. Again, two different uh, decorations for it. Okay, this one's called Gill Creep. Again, you can't call it exactly what it is for copyright reasons. All right. Okay, the other side. Okay. And the back's a little different too. Alright. Pull that back. Alright, seven inches tall, ready to hang. Mini monster display mask. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. See what she looks like. Again, the writing on the sides is exactly the same, so we don't need to go into that. Alright, here is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oops, I said it, copyright infringement. No, it's not. It's, what is it called again? Gill Creep, I think they call it. Yeah, the Gill Creep. It is the Gill Creep, people. Okay. Okay, again, these are all set up the same way, so let me give you a close-up of its uh, color and design. Like I said, it's very retro in nature, but the way they did it is fantastic looking. It's going to be cool to be looking on the wall, man. Oh, look at that. That's a little different. Okay, now I'm not sure. If you can never find a string in here unless it does have a string. I'm not positively sure. But these are wall-mounted. Uh, I'm sure they have some string in it. I might pull one of these apart just to see, but it's highly unlikely it doesn't have it because it's, it's too small. You wouldn't be able to fit that on your face anyway. But I will be hanging this on the wall and taking a picture of it. Okay. And eventually I'll do another walkthrough because, you know, I'm slowly building back up uh, all the stuff that I have. And I'll show you everything that I got. But anyway, this is the Gill Creep as they call it okay now again you get another one okay so we're gonna pull it out of this plastic right, hang on for a second here guys must cut it with a knife there we go Okay, let's go ahead and disassemble it. Turn it around. Unstretch his legs. Unstretch this leg. Unstretch the arms. And this arm here. Now these are a little bit looser. As you can see, it's kind of flopping. Yeah, I say. But that's what these things do. They're, they're loose. Okay. But anyway, let me show you what it looks like. From way back here. <laughs> you get the idea of what it looks like. It's time for him to do the split. Okay. Alright. So let me show you what the leg looks like. the hand and all the way straight down to the face guys all right. these things are bigger than the camera let me show you what the center looks like here get that out of the way that's what she looks like gill creep all right. and you get the idea of it but anyway they also come with a string on the top right here. Like I said, you could just stick a tack in it and just hang it on your wall. Okay, guys? But anyway, I've got those done. And these will be hanging on the wall along with the masks. Okay? Okay. And 
And like I said, I got Frankie here. All right. So now, I'll show you what the three look like. Okay, you know, you get a proper grip on these guys. All right, that's what she looks like right there, guys. All right. Like I said, there's other ones on um, on the website. I'm going to have to check it out and get them set up in my wish list, more or less. And uh, kind of order them when the time comes, okay? But anyway, that's the three mini masks. They come with uh, other decorations, a wall-type decoration. I'm going to hang them up, okay? And I'm going to show you the three different boxes, which I will be keeping, as they are very cool to collect. Just throw them on your shelves because they look good. You know what I'm saying? Or you can actually put them on a shelf and line your mask up against the window and stuff just to show them off. All right. Let me get these out of the way. And I'll show you the three mini boxes here. Okay, they come with the cars, like I said. Alright, that's what they look like. So now, let me pull that back so you can see what it looks like. Alright, now if you ever want to collect these, like I said, they are average 20 bucks. And as far as I'm concerned, they are well worth it. Alright, because they, obviously they look very cool. It also comes with this here as part of the wrapping. They put it right on the very top of the box when you get it. It's kind of like a comic. Well, it's not a comic, but it's um, kind of like a yeah, like a comic book back um, back page. And it shows you different things, right, which I think was cool. See, very retro, very old school. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna keep that too. Okay. Well, that seems to be it for these retro uh, a go go uh, type mini masks. They're called mini monsters. Uh, they're Ghoulsville. So when you go on to the website, there is different sections you can choose from. If you're into horror or Halloween, you want to check out Ghoulsville because that's where most of them are at. Okay. Anyway, that is my retro a go go. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys at the next video. This is Pumpkin Horror.